My name is Crystal. I own a luxury travel agency called Wanderlust Jet Setter, and after spending five years living in the Caribbean island of Aruba, my husband and I relocated to Miami. We love spending time with our dogs, but we spend a lot of our time traveling the world. Follow along my entrepreneurial journey for luxe travel content and more. This life I built at one time was just a dream, but welcome to my reality. Hey guys, we are back to the channel after a quick break and we have a lot of travels coming up. We are going to Marco Island, Florida, Key West, back to Aruba for the first time since we moved and the new Sandal St. Vincent's all before the year wraps up. So make sure to check back in because the channel will be very active again. Russell and I have matching pajamas. Actually, the whole family has matching pajamas. <laughs> Look at them, they're so cute. All right, we have flocked eight foot pre-lit king of Christmas. King is the name of the tree because there's prince, king, queen, etc. So for anyone interested in this type of tree, you're gonna see what it looks like now. This is our first Christmas in the new place in Miami. Okay, so these are how the trees come. Again, they're eight foot, eight feet. Look at our stockings. I think first step we have to move this. By the way, these are all from Target. Mike socks don't fit, fine. Okay, here's what the inside of the box looks like. So the eight foot comes in two separate boxes and then it comes with the tree stand and the bag to wrap it up in at the end of the year. Here's what it's gonna look like at the end. Seems really simple. It's like four pieces. So there are instructions. It's very simple. I think ours has four pieces because of the height, but um, not that many pieces. And then they give you gloves to take all of the branches apart because obviously it's coming like this. So you have to kind of undo them. Russell is already like f***ing around under the tree. Much is confused. I don't think she ever had a Christmas tree before. Right? Very tall, perfect size. When the tree topper goes up, it's gonna be perfect. Um, the thing with the flocked is the, I don't know if you could see it, the dust, whatever you call it, the snow, does kind of go everywhere. Keep that in mind, kind of breathing it in over here. We need to now go in and pull apart each one of these to make it more full. <coughs> Yep. I mean, it was only four pieces, so that was super easy. Now it's the pulling it apart. Mike needs to get up on a ladder up there. Dogs are like, get me the hell out of here. While Mike is going to get us lunch. Oh my God, guys, I am sneezing nonstop. Let me tell you, the flocked is beautiful. And this is why I wanted an artificial tree this year. Usually I get live trees, but I wanted this like flocked Look, and I am sneezing like crazy, Mike too. It does kind of get everywhere. See, like we have to clean all this up after. But this is how we're looking so far. I need to figure this situation out because some of these are hanging much lower than others. Here's Russell again. He loves this little outfit, man. Love the pre-lit, makes life so much easier. I'll talk about where we got some of our decorations this year. Uh, these are just candle holders I got off Sheen. Sheen has a lot of stuff that you are going to find in like Target or Hobby Lobby for far cheaper. The shipping does sometimes take a while longer, but look look into it. This is a coat wrap from Sheen for like $10, just a plain white coat wrap. Because we don't have a fireplace and we don't really have a good place to like nail it in anywhere, the stockings. So that's a coat rack. Um, this like garland is from Hobby Lobby. Actually, all of this is from Hobby Lobby. I'll show you guys when we start to take them apart. The theme this year is like classical Christmas. Like we got this cute little classical Christmas Ford truck. This I've had, this has made its way from Connecticut to Aruba and back. Uh, my dog Kells loved this. She passed away sadly, so I always kept this with me. So it's a cute little reindeer theme. We got a new, Christmas blanket from Target this year with dogs and cats on it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put one of the throws on the bed and one out here on the couch. 
Um, oh, I should light this right now. This is a Hearth in Hand with Magnolia, Cypress, and Santal scented candle. It smells so good. This is from Target with the little Christmas theme. Also from Target in the $3 section. Some toys for the dogs for Christmas. I got some like cute um, Christmas ornaments that have like meaning to me. So obviously travel theme, suitcase with a cute little Santa hat passport. I'm thinking about getting a little tabletop tree also from King of Christmas to put on my desk and put those. I have an ornament from our friends Damien and Mary in Aruba. And then this one is really cute. The dog I was just talking about, Kells, that passed away. This is from Jackie, Bride of Wanderlust Turned Friend. Look how cute that is. They made her into a little angel ornament. Those ones I'm probably gonna put on like a mini tree. And then because Mike and I do not really do gifts, we're always traveling for Christmas. Um, I am going to just take some Amazon boxes that we get packages in and wrap them and put them under the tree as like more of a decorative thing. This year, I also have another order from Sheen coming, so I'm not even gonna be able to do everything today um, with garland and a bunch of other stuff. So I will film that when they come in and then kind of compile this video and put it out all together so you can see. I knew I was missing a special ornament. This is from my dear friend Maureen in Aruba from last year. The whole family. So yeah, all of these I'm probably putting on a mini tree. And this will show you guys when it's done, but this is a tree collar. I opted for a tree collar instead of a tree skirt because I vaguely remember this one. Um, always trying to sleep on the tree skirt. So I don't really want him trying to go under the tree this year. Okay, don't mind the chaos that is over here, but I also just got this tree topper. I think I'm gonna keep it. It was pretty expensive. It's from Amazon, but it's one of those. These are like popular at like hospitals. I feel like Willow Tree. They like have all the different angels. Can you guys see it? Here we go. So it's like a whispering angel. I just thought it was like really classy and cute. I looked at a lot of tree toppers. I could not find one for the life of me that I liked until I saw this one. Look at these from Delilah in Miami. It's so funny. It's like a girl. They're little matches. So I'm gonna light our candle here. Hurry. Okay, so I just did this for now. I feel like they like it. Look, this one's over here. I think it looks cute. Update, of course I like tore this open even though Target would probably take it back. This size does not fit the eight foot tree. So <laughs> from here it actually looks decent, but how can I show you guys this? See, major gap. And then here, like coming apart but I think we can because it is like backed in a corner I think when Mike gets here we can figure out a way to make this look more seamless and then who really cares if you like no one can really see it in the back so we'll work with it because I do like the like shimmery beige I think it goes with the tree really well um, so I think I want to keep it but yeah just note to self I didn't expect the base to be that thick So in efforts to get this video out fast, I'm just gonna do a run through of what came from Sheen. This is the garland. From up close, it's obviously pretty, you know, fake looking, but I'm gonna try to do something like hanging it in some areas. I got two packages. These candles were really cute. They were actually actually sold out and then I ended up getting them. Uh, probably won't actually light them. If I do, I'm definitely cutting this down, but cute little candles, cheap, like a dollar, two dollars. I got these little drink um, well, they're not for drinks, they're toothpicks, but I'm gonna use them for like olives and martinis. A little package of um, some wrapping paper. This is, like I said, the theme I'm kind of going for here, like that old school classical Christmas. So I'll wrap some more boxes and put them under the tree. 
this is a, and don't mind me, I just threw everything literally in the corner, um, like a light up little tree. I think it was like 10 bucks. And again, you know, up close kind of looks a little cheap, but the idea is, you know, when the lights are dim and, and, and it's lit up, it actually looks really good. We tested it last night. And then I just got this um, little like see-through table cover. It has like little pearls on it, but kind of goes with the, the winter-esque theme. So that's the Sheen haul. This, I'm getting rid of it, I decided. I'm gonna get one on Amazon that's more long and hangs like that, so we're getting rid of that. Final on the tree, I think it looks great. Thanks for following along. See you guys next time in Marco Island.